Super Mario Brothers Three! Hello everyone. Uh Kaznorius here. H have you have you ever watched a movie? There are these things that uh sometimes uh I don't know if you know this, but many millions and even trillions of dollars go into them every year. Uh, except this year cuz uh nobody can fucking meet up to act in these shitty things. But sometimes movies get made and movies are uh you know they're all right they're okay i you know don't don't uh, citizen kane whatever whatever you know i guess uh f fucking fight club who knows M movies mixed bag i have no opinion on them but you know what i do have, a, have an opinion on movie it's games true. movie games sliver movie oh. games movie games because that's that's what i know i know video games and and movies despite being a new concept to me and a new generation uh this generation of 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 what am i supposed to fucking watch uh seven am i supposed to watch all of david fincher's movies yeah who, who the fuck even has the time for that nobody is, nobody is, is, is david fincher a bird Today we're talking about movie games. Oh, oh, oh okay. Um, that uh, this is uh, this is Kaznarius. Uh, with me is Ren. Howdy. With me is Sliv. Oh, it's it's me. With me is the Pork Chopper. Hello. We've all congregated today to talk about uh, video games. Video game, video games based off of movies. Uh, would anyone like to start us off with any opening thought? I well, they're, usually, they're, they're, they're usually pretty fucking terrible, if I'm going to be completely honest. Usually, okay. but not always. Oh, okay. um, I, I, I will start us off with uh, not an anecdote, but a real story that actually happened. Um, <clears throat> being in grade four, I um, it was around the time Over the Hedge came out. Uh, over the Hedge being, I don't know, some really shitty animated fucking film about animals. And for whatever reason, an Over the Hedge uh, DS game came out. And I thought it was the shit. Like, my friend borrowed... I, I borrowed it from my friend. And I thought, Over the Hedge, 3D World, bam. Oh, dude, this shit's like Super Mario 64 3D or uh, DS. Except... Like, way shittier, and, like, way clunkier, and way slower, but I, as a kid, for fuck knows why, thought that was a- God damn, I should've turned on my phone. Thought that this fucking shitty DS movie tie-in was amazing. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you are talking to the person who traded- what games would you think I would trade- Okay, let, let's do it, let's do- What does everyone think I traded? Garfield Oh, you think I traded Gar? Yeah, yeah. N nice, okay, nice um, response, get dipshit. Fucking Garfield is gonna Gar go on a win yeah. here and say he went out to uh, Jack the Game Man, and he he he, he gave them uh, NHL 07 in 2004. Uh, <laughs> Scooby Doo's what? classic Creep Capers for N64. Oh man. Uh, Earthbound. Yeah, I just had a copy of Earthbound. And uh, Banjo Kazooie. Okay, all right, Ren, what's your guesses of what I traded for this game? You know what? I'm guessing at least a ham sandwich. Okay. <clears throat> I traded Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Gold for Over the Hedge for the DS. I mean, that seems like a legit trade to me. Mm. Wow. 
Kaz is having his WWF Warzone moment. Yeah. This really hurts. Like, it really hurts me. Like, genuinely. Like, how much- like, how much I've fucking played both of those games, like, after I've bought them again, obviously. Uh, it hurts. That a younger version of me- like, oh, fuck. I played through these games. Why, why would I ever need to play through them again? What- what, what can I possibly do with these in the future? Oh, wait. That's right. You can just- I, I can actually transfer over all my Pokemon from Ruby through, like, a very convoluted process. Oh, that's right. With a poke with a copy of Gold, I can use a full team of Pokemon in Pokemon Stadium 2. Oh, yeah. I'm a fucking idiot. Um, and that's really the theme of uh, this particular episode of Thunderstorm is that Kaznarius is a fucking idiot. Um, but we'll get into that later. Yeah. Uh, Dude, would, don't would worry. Anyone else... oh, Sliv is an idiot, too. Okay, alright. Why, so why? You, you traded in Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Ruby yep. for that lovely over the GTA head. clone over the hedge. Well, no, but, but yeah. Sliver traded in Zelda. For Zelda, he went to the mall when he he was a wee lad. He he got his N64. He saw that gold copy of Zelda. He's like, "Ooh, I'm finished with this. I see there's another copy of Zelda here." So he walks into EB Games and he goes, "Mr. Game Man, here's my cartridge. How much will you give it to me for?" And they're like, "Oh, we'll give you money for it, kid." So I go over to the little, like, cabinet. They had it locked up with a key. It's that one that they used to have standing right next to the fucking counter. And he sees yeah. the exact same fucking game in a gray card. And he thinks it's a different game, so he buys it. Oh my more, god. <laughs> more than what he traded the previous copy in for, not knowing that the old one was a collector's edition. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite... Oh. Game, game over, of yeah! <laughs> game over. My favorite game based off a movie is uh, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Yeah, let's let's get back let's get back to it. <clears throat> Does anyone have any other opening thoughts? That day, I also traded in a great game for Wii. It was up for Wii. Well, that that is a that that is a fucking <laughs> a uh, game. game based off a movie. So topical. Yeah. Uh, Do you have any thoughts on Up? Uh, up was pretty good. It, it was a 3D platformer uh, for Wii. It it was nice. You ran around as the fat kid and the bird. Uh, the old man was like low tier, but it it, it was all right. It, it could get clunky at times, but you know what, what kind of shitty tie-in game doesn't? Before we um. Before we really get into it, though, I want to I wanna address the elephant in the room. Um, Sliv, why do you own a copy of the B-movie for Wii? Uh, kicks. A couple weeks ago, right before uh, the, the debacle of what's going on in the world started, hit up the local game store, walk over to the Wii section, hey, Wii games are getting a bit cheaper. Let's pick up some games. And then it catches his eyes. A golden game case <laughs> sticking out. I've heard this wall. before. I've heard this story from you before. Fuck off. <laughs> and it's, it says right there, the B movie. <laughs> I pull it out. There's Jerry Seinfeld right on the cover. And at that moment, I needed this. So I brought it home and haven't played it since. <laughs> I Fourteen dollars, well spent. I thought you were gonna get in. I thought you were gonna get into uh, how you as Jerry Seinfeld uh, beat Goma, and then you couldn't. You, you really thought that that was the end of the game, and then the world opened up, and oh, the world <laughs> opened up. <laughs> and up you realized that games could be more than just the B movie. They could oh, be they... the B movie, the game. Oh shit, you're right. That's yeah. how we found out. Like, like jazz. Mm hmm. Yeah, like legitimately though, it's it's really weird to have a a movie tie-in game be a GTA clone. The B movie game, nonetheless. Is it actually? It's a GTA clone. 
Uh, you'll, you'll go around as B. Jerry Seinfeld, and you'll, you'll fucking hijack other B mobiles and, and drive around and do fucking missions. And try to fuck humans. Because that's the B movie. Seems legit. Yeah. <laughs> um, did did, did I mention it's the only AO game rated, rated for Wii? What the fuck? Oh, sorry, what? rated for for the for the B. Yeah, no, fuck off, you're lying. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're full of shit. <laughs> Massively <laughs> full of shit. What the fuck? Uh, Ren, tell us about a tell us about a movie. Here's about a movie or a movie game. Yeah. Tell us all about Citizen Kane. I want your review right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Here's the thing. It's with, a game for the Wii. Yeah, it's a game for the Wii. Uh, here's the thing with movie-based games, you know, mm. and it's a little bit of a shitty uh, metaphor. No anecdote. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. There's the good, the bad, and the ugly. As in, there's really good movie games. There's really bad ones, and there are ones that are fucking dreadful. Yeah. Um. I think we've had experience with all three, and some of them that kind of bleed into other categories. Because there are some mm -hmm. really, really bad movie games that are a total blast to play. Um, yeah. I'm personally a big fan of a lot of the Spider-Man tie-in games. I used to love... Uh, I know Spider-Man 2 was the better game, but when I was younger, I played Spider-Man 3 the game, and I loved that. Um, even if it is technically inferior to other games in the series. I that actually, one's one that comes to mind really quickly for me when I talk about movie games. I actually had a, a very... I really liked the first Spider-Man movie game. Um, and I'm, I'm... I remember very vividly the fucking narrator uh, for the tutorial of all things being very charismatic and... Just being this guy, it's like, okay, yeah, you do this, I'm gonna go make a ham sandwich. And then the next one, he would be eating the ham sandwich while, like, telling you what to do. Uh, it was very strange, and very charismatic, and very quirky. Um, Spider-Man 1 wasn't that great of a game, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spider-Man Spider 2 is, yeah, like... the narrator was voiced by uh, Stan Lee. Yeah. And that, that was dope. Spider-Man 2 is like, man, everyone was was that not like the the first Spider-Man game to like really get web swing? Because I know, yeah. I know there was that oh, that one fucking that Spider-Man game for the PS1 that sort of had it, but it was kind of shitty. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I, you know what I'm talking about? The one. Yeah, it was just called Spider-Man. Yeah, I played yeah. the PS1 one. That one wasn't very good. Uh, I remember liking it, but it, it had its it has, yeah, it has its fans. Um, but definitely, once they did like the movie games and stuff, they really quickly got the hang of having sp just having fun with Spider-Man moving around that big open environment. Basically, yeah, exactly. uh, here's your sandbox. Things will randomly go on, or you can go to the next mission and just have fun because just every aspect of moving around. And for years and years and years up until Spider-Man PS4 came out, people were still saying like that was one of the best games, if not the best game, featuring Spider-Man that had come out. Period. You know, I, yeah, it's it, it makes me it, it's kind of funny and probably ironic, but the fact that we're we're probably about to go into some kind of shitty movie games, or at least I'm sure somebody's going to bring up some really shitty movie games, but. Spider-Man 2 probably, like, set the standard for how web swinging should be done in a Spider-Man game. Yeah, I tried like, really nailed it. Ultimate Spider-Man, if you guys have ever played that, uh, has web swinging just like Spider-Man 2, and it's wonderful. And, I mean, you know, the new Spider-Man game is a fucking blast to play. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it, it's... It's funny that like, you wouldn't think of a movie, the movie game, to be the thing to, like, set 
like the standard for how a series or like a series of games about a character would or should do a certain mechanic. Um, but yeah, Spider-Man 2 was just somehow that good. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah can I've almost, always heard great things. You can almost definitely tell with a movie game if it's a company that just picked up the rights to just get something out. Like, just get it out the door as fast as possible. Doesn't matter the budget, doesn't matter, like, whatever. As long as it gets done for the holiday season or around when the movie comes out, so that mm -hmm. way they can make the money off it. And the people that actually care about it. Like, um... One that I'm probably stealing from Slip bringing up later is, you know, the Toy Story 2 game came out, like, two years after the movie. Mm hmm And that game's really well respected on its own as well um so you can really tell when a company cares about the property they've been given and when they really don't yeah I, I feel like any movie game that hasn't been tied to a specific release date to coincide with a the movie they usually um fare far better um i will actually uh <laughs> I actually have a specific example that kind of goes against that thinking. Um, uh, X Men Origins Wolverine. Ooh, which version? I remember that game. I remember that. Okay, yeah, that actually came out before the fucking movie, uh, and it basically goes. I'm. It's, you know, it was. It had like its kind of fucky plot. Um, it basically goes along with the basic story of the movie while like tying in different like other boss fights just because they need to fill in gaps for a game but i remember that game being relatively good for what it was uh it actually was i remember that you know you um man if there are any fucking wolverine fans out there like this is the fucking wolverine game the uh <laughs> and it's it's really fucking funny to me that the movie itself is PG-13 and this fucking game is like rated M for mature and they really really fucking nailed that M for mature rating. Wolverine gets fucking gored in this game constantly. Between fights and during fights, you can like see the fucking bone like his fucking bones as like bullets go through them. And, like, parts of his skin go off. And, like, between fights, you can just, like, watch his fucking body regrow and, like, the skin go back on his fucking face. It's actually, like, really fucking cool and gross. Uh, they really played into the character with that. Yeah. Um, and there's, uh, you know, fuck, fuck the movie. They have, like, so many different references. I know that you could actually get, like, the, the old X-Men, like, Wolverine suit uh the yellow one uh as like an unlockable costume and while the game itself did get a bit repetitive uh it was actually fucking fun um but to go <laughs> hilariously uh sliv asked me which, ooh, which one yeah which one uh a certain person uh who i i imagined would be here our, our uninvited uh, unknown guest <laughs> he kind of watched me uh, play. I, I, I believe it was him, at least. Somebody did. I, I believe it was him. He watched me play this game for the PS3, and I was like, "Okay, that's like, it's pretty fun. Like, there's a there's a bit to this game. I could have a good time with that." Uh, unknown guest did not have a, a PS3. He did, in fact, have a Wii. Oh and I God. I remember a fucking conversation with him as a kid, and. Because we were both kids when this was when this came out, and uh, I was just like, "Oh, okay, so you're like on the." I was like talking to him while he was playing it. It's like I'm like, "Oh, you uh, you're on the forest level, right? Like you're you're killing dudes in the forest." And like, what? No, the Wii version has you like on a truck killing lumberjacks. I'm like, <laughs> what the f what the fuck? <laughs> like, why is it so drastic? Well, the, I know why it's so drastically different. They had, they had to fucking port it out to the Wii, which means fuck everything good about the fucking PS3 version. Uh, let's just scrap all that and have bullshit fights and... Oh yeah, because of that one line that 
<laughs> that, uh, you know, he's Canadian in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Uh, well, fuck it. I guess let's just have him on in Canada fighting lumberjacks because that's the only thing Canadians do. Um, <laughs> hey, 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 like, there's, there's one other thing we do. Drink, Tim's? I'm waiting. Oh, it's, uh, we attack people using our tactical battle beavers. Oh, yeah, I forgot about them. How- you- you- you live in Canada, Kaz. Like, how do you forget about your tactical I battle know, beaver? Man. Listen, man, we used to have a friend who could, like, speak beaver, and, like, you know, he's basically- He's moved up in the government, he could speak beaver, he, like, made the beavers, like, do tricks and shit, and, like, fire Did off the ring. Guy? Pretty fucking sick. Yeah, yeah, guy, guy, exactly. Guy speak beaver. He was fucking sick, man. Uh, and, you know, I just- I, I, I kind of leave that memory from my mind because, you know, I'm I'm really jealous, man. I wanna I wanna have my own fucking brigade of tactical battle beavers, and I don't fucking have that sliver, and I never fucking will, cause I can't speak beaver. It fucking sucks, okay? It's the one thing in my life I'm insecure about, so I'd appreciate it if you'd shut the fuck up and never bring it up again. Duly noted. Pork Topper, what's your game? Oh, fuck me. I got a whole bunch. Uh, yeah. So I had mentioned this uh, in our, a meeting a, a week ago, I believe. Um, <laughs> Scarface, the world is yours. So this game basically acts like a what if. Um, is obviously, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to spoil the end of the movie, but pretty much everybody's seen it. Okay, Tony fucking dies. All right. Yeah. In this game, it starts right at the end of the movie, and Tony lives, uh, and basically, he loses everything. So this this whole game is essentially GTA, where you're buying up businesses, rebuilding your empire, and then going after Sosa. And uh, yeah, it, it's not <sighs> fuck. To just say it's a GTA clone doesn't really do it justice, because like, like for example, you could buy cocaine right in the um, in the Miami Keys, or sorry, the Florida Keys, right? Then you could literally fucking ride them back on a boat, evade, like, the fucking Coast Guard and shit, and then come back, sell that shit for a shitload of money, and just buy more businesses. Like, you couldn't do that in GTA. Chinatown Wars, I believe, came, like, many, many years later. <laughs> and, uh, it, it was just so fucking fun, so different, and GTA itself actually stole a lot of ideas from that game. Like, the way the cop system works now with the big, uh, the wanted, like, circle, that came from Scarface. No shit. Yeah, except it was a little different in that game. Basically, you have a timer, and when time ran out, uh, the game would just assume that you got murdered by cops because you get swarmed, and it would just say, uh, you fucked up. Mm -hmm. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that was one of the first times I played a movie game, and I actually enjoyed it. Like, I had a really fun time, and it's one of the uh, best open world games I've ever fucking played. Because it took everything that was good about the movie, like the whole atmosphere and the character and everything, and just really played into it. Uh, and a lot of them don't quite do that often enough. Um, I've never played that, uh, but... Good. Yeah. It's on the Wii, actually. A really good version on the Wii, if you have one. <laughs> For real. Yeah, legit. The legit. It was ported later, and it's actually really good. <laughs> Speaking of mobster movie games, uh, the Godfather of the game is is fantastic. I was waiting for you to mention it. Oh yeah, I played that uh, a, a lot when I was younger. It's sure it's a GTA clone, but it follows the the plot of, of the movie really closely. Obviously enough, yeah. they, they brought back a lot of the the actors from from the movie to to do their voices. So you yeah, got, like uh, James, James Con Con and. and and Al Pacino, what have you. I'm not entirely sure if they got Marlon Brando, but I'm pretty no, sure he was it was dead. before he, he was already dead at the time. I, I don't know if they used dead. any archive footage. I'm uh, they they might have used archive voice, but I think he himself was dead at that time. Yeah. I believe that they got some audio on his deathbed or something. Oh, they could have. You never know. 
Yeah, but the, uh, the mobster system worked really well in that game, working down from, from a grunt all the way up to the, the position of Godfather. And, I'm sorry, um, but when I, when I heard... System. When I heard fucking Pork Chopper say, I believe he was dead, no, he was dead, I could just imagine him just behind his desk, like, cocking a fucking gun, like, <laughs> yeah, I fucking made sure of that. Yeah, I, no, he was dead. Trust, trust <laughs> me, he was dead. <laughs> Cleans up the chamber, and I'm gonna make yeah. sure of it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Sliv, continue. Take the cannolis. I actually have an interesting memory of that game because I was playing it at a sleepover once. And basically everyone else had gone to bed and I couldn't sleep. So I was just sitting there playing and I'm like, I'm not tired. I'm not tired and I'm driving a car down the road. And like all of a sudden, like I'm just like, why can't I get off? Like the I keep like scraping the car against buildings. Like why can't I stop? Cra I passed out, <laughs> like holding the controller and just crashing into walls. And that is the weirdest memory I have tied to that game. <laughs> I was just I was actually tired, and I just for whatever reason the Godfather of the game on P I think it was the PS2 version put me to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. That was a solid game, though. I remember that. They had a second one, which was pretty Not as different. Good. Yeah, like, they it had some cool ideas. I remember the fire effects were fucking great in that game. But overall, though, yeah, the first one was way better. Well, um, fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm looking up about the, the, the godfather of the game, and and what's what here is going to, to kill you inside. So... The Godfather of the Games voice cast, which does include Al Pacino, James Caan, and actually Marlon Brando. No oh, fuck. The best cast award from the Spike Video Game Awards in 06 went to the Family Guy game instead. <coughs> oh my lord. Wow. And I'm wow. sure Seth MacFarlane fucking creamed himself over that. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, so they they must have used um, yeah, it must have been like some kind of older recordings from Brando because he died two years before the game. He even did. Came. They, they apparently they got a lot of recordings of him when he was he was sick and dying in bed. Wow, uh, that's good. Uh, just due to his health, a lot of them couldn't be used though. Yeah. Yeah, they got a lot of recordings from him when he was sick and dying in bed. Hmm, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not what I meant. <laughs> that he was sick and dying in bed <laughs> <laughs> that's not quite what I meant but yeah uh, uh, he made right. sure he was dying in bed alright get him in here get the uninvited guest in here good guy come on wait how can he be an uninvited guest if we're inviting him Oh no. God! We're, uh, we're uninviting him. In, in, all right, uninvited hey. guests. Hey, I'm the nameless guy. All right, uh, we're, talking, we're, we're in the middle. Talking, we're talking about uh, movie games. We're talking about movie games. Good. I just woke up from a two-hour middle of the day nap, um, and I'm totally late. Yo, so was I... late too because he took a two-hour nap. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn! Yeah. I don't feel unique anymore. I'm pissed. All right, listen, listen, everyone, shut the fuck up. Uninvited guest, I need you to tell us all about X Men Origins Wolverine for the Wii. Oh, for the Wii? Yeah. I mean, it was mostly just really boring. It had, I think, it had gimmicky motion controls. I don't fully remember. Um. But it ultimately ended up just being kind of a nothing game. Which... What about those lumberjacks? I don't even remember. It's Fuck. been so long since I've fucking played I that specifically game. specifically remember you telling me that there were fucking lumberjacks on the first level. I'm sure that there were. That doesn't surprise me at all. But I cannot remember a single thing about that stupid game. I forgot I even played it till ten seconds ago. Yeah, it's true. fucking scrubs this sh shitty game from his mind. Oh, I th I'm so good at scrubbing shit from my mind. I would 
that's why this topic was going to be really bad, because I definitely didn't remember any of the crappy movie games I've played as a child. <laughs> Do you remember any good movie games you played? No, yeah. definitely not. Are there good movie games? Have yeah. we discussed yeah. any? Yeah. We've actually yeah. discussed multiple, funny enough. Okay, I'll have to listen to it later, um, <laughs> because there's no point in us going over them again. Yeah. Alright, li- listen, listen. Alright, get, get us back on track. We would be remiss to have a podcast about movie games without mentioning the Star Wars franchise. Because I fucking love Star Wars. It's the best thing ever. The new movies are amazing. Ugh. I actively jack uh, off to Poe every uh, single uh, day. Okay. Listen. Okay, actually. Or, well, obviously, duh. Yeah, yeah. How, how could you not? Yeah. Um, ge- gentlemen, what is... Um, What's the worst and best uh, Star Wars game you've played? Ah, uh, that's tough. There's a lot of fucking games, and there are yeah. a lot of really like Star Wars games. Generally speaking, have been pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I, I haven't personally played uh, Jedi Fallen Order yet. I heard that's a phenomenal game. Yep. But yeah, if we're going off too. what what I've I played myself. I would say Force Unleashed Two was really good. Not the version for Wii though. The version for Wii I, I have but haven't played. It's Sensing really a theme good. in this fucking podcast. However, if we're talking about a bad Star Wars movie game, it's Star Wars: The Force Unleashed One for DS. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, was... I was I was actually gonna mention that I fucking played through that. Dude, it's so bad. Like, Dude, I fucking love control. that game. The, 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 the five fucking touch screen buttons were your only method of attacking. Like, no. Yeah. You had bad. to constantly fucking tap the fucking screen with Can't with uh, one hand and fucking uh, move around with the other. Yeah, and jump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, jump was a fucking touch screen button. I remember that. Yeah. Oh, dude. Dude, I. So bad. Again, for some reason, I really liked 3D things on the DS as a kid. Uh, so like, like it, it worked a lot better than it had any fucking right to. But it's still bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it was bad. Uh, well, I, you know, with the was... with the 3D combat, I think it like really built off of its predecessor, uh, which was obviously over the hedge. Um, yeah. And, and it's it's 3D environment traversal. See, over the hedge actually had like, you know, you would push a button and and you would, uh, you know, jump, or or you would push like the A button and jump, and you push the B button and interact with something differently. Uh, but like, it took inspiration from that, and it also took inspiration from uh, Pokemon Dash, which everyone loves, uh, where everyone just loved putting their fucking stylus to their screen. Uh, and it, you just have a great version of a game, like, the, a fucking amazing version of a game that nobody asked for. I All think right. the best version of that game was for the PSP, now that I think about it. I never played it on, on PSP. I, I ended up playing it on, uh, 360 back mm. in the day. Mm-hmm. But, like, this, or this was much. in, yeah, this, this was in the heyday of quick time events, so every boss battle was, yeah. was quick time. Oh, oh yeah. Now ima- sure. imagine that. But with a DS stylus, so, <laughs> so you're you're tapping your your fucking screen like a like a madman trying yeah. not to put a hole in it, and whoops, you just put a hole in your screen. Yep. Uh, Thanks, wow, you were really hard on your DS. Well, actually, I got my DS broken and was too embarrassed to tell my mom because uh, I picked it up from Walmart uh, with with the chore money I saved up for like a year. And uh, the, the hinge was broken right out of the box, and and I, I dealt with it. Like the the resistant uh, hinge, so like you know how you could bend it to yeah. any place. Yep. Yeah. yeah that that the on my DS slide it was broken right out of the box. It was either closed or it was all the way open. And then within a month that went, and it was either fully open or a lymph dick. Oh, fuck. It was bad. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. sounds like it. Uh, yeah, my DS went through something similar. It fell off a counter and the hinge completely shattered. I, uh, it was held together by duct tape. It was used a bunch of duct tape just to hold it in an open, playable position. Yeah, I had a ri- an original DS and they hinge went on that too. 
Because those were notorious for it. Well, mine lasted perfectly it until it fell off the counter and broke. But, yeah. Thinking right, about it now, while well, well, still sort of operational, I probably should just set the, the Game Boy Advance mode to run on the bottom screen and then just ripped off the top screen when it was hanging on by a ribbon cable and that's it. And and then I would have had a uh, an SP uh, in a Game Boy Advance. Just a rectangular Game Boy Advance. So getting Should back on the topic, what are some other good Star Wars games? Uh, yeah, Rin. If, Rin we, tie it, if we tie it back to movies, because Force Unleashed and stuff, technically they aren't movie games. They're just in the move, like in a universe that happens in the universe, to be yeah. by movies. Um, so I have two games. One of them's extremely unremarkable to the point that I just remember playing it because I couldn't get the Force Unleashed, which was. Star Wars Episode 3, The Game. Mm -hmm. And then there's Star Wars Episode 1, Racer, which is really memorable, and people love that game. Uh, yeah, I fucking love it. Have you ever went to an arcade and played Star Wars Episode Dude, 1, Racer? Yes. I played it at so, like, Cheese once. Oh, like, absolutely phenomenal feeling. You guys know that they re-released on Switch, right? Though. Yeah. Oh, the I, I heard. Sure, yeah. Yeah, fucking crazy. So, like, you had your little fucking uh, pod racer, you got to sit in, and you had your, your pod racer levers, like, turn yeah. off one engine, turn on the yeah. other one, boost around fucking corners. It felt good. Mm. I feel fucking like graphics from the N64, and it felt so goddamn good. Yeah. Even years could, later. I believe you could set up, like, a control scheme where you played the game with two N64 controllers. Oh my god. I would love to do that. That'd be so fucking I'm, cool. Yeah, I've never done it. I would love to do it now that I'm a little bit older. I just have all my games in storage right now, so I haven't... Like, I'm not gonna Next play that Next time on, uh, on Thunder Club Plays, fucking Rain gets one side of the controller, Kaz gets the other. Oh and god, <laughs> that would be so you know something? Bad. You know something? I have beaten a fucking game with somebody... In this call, with that exact <laughs> thought process, yes, like, of somebody guys, uh, using uh, one side of the controller and me using the other. Sorry, was that Breath of the Wild with split Joy Cons or something? No, what the f no. No, oh, okay. That's unfortunate. No, it was when me and the uninvited guest fucking beat Sin and Punishment. Oh. Oh yeah, we did do that. It was. Very heterosexual, but we 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 figured it out. We cracked the code. I think one of us moved and the other one aimed. That game is so good, but it's not tied to a movie, so it's garbage. Um. <clears throat> uh. But yeah. Uh. Ren, episode three. Talk about it. Like I said, it was extraordinarily unmemorable to the point that I just remember playing it because uh, I couldn't afford the Force Unleashed, and it was. Really, really cheap at Nibi Games. It was like I probably spent like fifty cents on it. Which and system it was did you for? It was an original Xbox game, but it's compatible with oh. the 360. Okay. The 360 had that weird like emulation original Xbox thing, but it didn't work for every game. I can confirm that it's not a memorable game because I know I fucking rented that back in the day, and I can't remember anything about it other than I didn't fucking like it. Like it's just one of those games that like I think. There's a lot of people that played it, but there's just no one that remembers it at all. Yeah, like it's just fucking boring, I guess. It just exists. It's like the fucking the X Men uh, movie games. I remember playing those, and I don't remember anything about them. Hmm. Yeah. Oh shoot! Um, I just remembered another really good movie game. It's not Star Wars related, so if we want to finish talking about yeah, those... let's 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 uh. Well, no, uh, Pork Chopper. W w how do you feel with Star Wars? Star Wars games? I mean, the only ones I can remember that I actually bought and played, they were pretty much all good. Uh, like, I had um, fucking Shadows of the Empire. Uh, I, I, Even though it had a lot of technical problems and shit, I still enjoyed it. It was a really ambitious mm -hmm. game. Uh, fucking Pod Racer was really good. Uh, Battlefront one and two, I 
the non non EA ones. I love those. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, they were all really good. I mean, I can't really just pick one. They're fantastic. Yeah. And that's uh, one series that they they for the most part they really nailed the games. Yeah, I I, I just yeah. I mean, there's so many cool powers and, like, just cool-ass shit that, like, you could sort of take the Star Wars franchise and throw it in almost any fucking game genre, except for, I don't know, like, a fucking music game. And I mean, you could probably the, the Dance Dance Revolution and connect Star Wars. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God! I just <laughs> ate my own part of the game. Word. I forgot about I'm Han Solo. God Literally damn it! Part of the game. Oh Star my Wars god! Connect. Star Wars Connect. Well, hey, there's I, a bad the, one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I haven't played it, but my point is, like, I, I, like, what is it? Jedi Academy? Like, that's a relatively good first-person shooter slash third-person action game. Fucking yeah, Pod World. Racer. Fucking Pod Racer, man. Fucking Pod Racer, man. It's just uh, the universe that lends itself so well to almost anything. Yeah. Like, there um, definitely are bad games, like, um... Oh, yeah. There's, like, Star Wars chess, and the Star Wars fighting game on PS1 no one likes. Oh, and yeah. I, I really don't like the Super Star Wars games on SNES. I freaking hate them. <laughs> Some people no, adore those games and think they're amazing, and they're, like, a great challenge. I think they're total trash, in my opinion, but that's just me. Um, I, uh, my, my favorite Star Wars game is by far Battlefront 2 for the PS2. Um, that, like, it's just so fucking fun, man. It's, it's just so fucking fun to, to fuck around and get into different vehicles and, like, just shoot your buddies or, like, just shoot some fucking droids. Even going through the campaign, campaign is just, like, mindless fun. Dude, I have the uh, voice things, like uh, the little like notifications that come up whenever something happens, like stuck in my head, like super yeah. metal droids. Yeah, we yeah, have captured yeah. a command post. All those fucking stormtrooper. Yeah, the stormtrooper voice lines. Voice lines. Fuck, that was a really good game. Um, and then I guess. Probably my least favorite Star Wars game I've ever played is uh, is actually Battlefront by EA. Um, it's it's actually just really embarrassing. Just like how many years had gone by. Uh, I mean, I never even played two, but like how many years after Battlefront two came out, or fuck, even even Renegade Squadron for the PSP. If anyone here has played that. Um, and just like how far back they took the series, and like just how much fucking bullshit they put in, uh, yeah, it's embarrassing. Um, uh, unfor like un unfortunately, uh, the game itself was kind of fun, if I remember correctly. But yeah, like, it was. There were like there were fucking no maps, man. Like, w I don't even think there were space battles, if I remember correctly. No, no space battles. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, the first like, one. What? Why? Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, That's the one thing people really fucking wanted, and they didn't yeah. even get it. Like, if if you go back to the PS2 version, there was the Galactic Conquest mode, which was the most fucking tedious fucking thing I've played because you could start on like Naboo, clear the ground, clear space, and then head over to to Hoth or what have you, or to, to Coruscant, and oops, the Empire fleet's moved on to Naboo. Better yeah. fucking destroy it before they claim the land oh, again. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's a constant back and forth. Like, that could take an, an easy 20-30 hours to, to complete a space campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah, I mean, you know, shitty game mode, but fantastic game. Yeah, yeah. Good game. Come on, like who, I'll who take a good wanna, game in the shitty mode. That's fine. Who wouldn't want to bounce around most Eisley as Yoga? 
Yeah, it's so much fun. Eat yourself over a building. Yeah, then you fucking get the heroes and it's, you just fucking wreck shop. Yeah, m the most I usually had the mode where you just had all the heroes. Ah, oh, so fucking cool. Yeah, that was awesome. Fuck, I, I forget. Were you able to play as General Grievous in that game? I think in two, yeah. 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 I could be yeah. misremembering. It's been a few years now, but I, I know you could you could play as Christopher Lee. Yeah. That 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 was pretty cool. Great addition to the Star Wars mythos was, was Christopher Lee. And if I guess, do you have any opinions on Star Wars games? Uh, no, not really. I haven't played a lot of them. Most of what you have mentioned here are things that I've never touched. Um, I have guess. Sorry, what? Have you played Kotor? Uh, I have. no, not really. I played like an hour of it, and first I need to try it again. I did not really give it a fair shot. Dude, you should. Yeah, Man, yeah I, I like definitely you're a should. big uh, Mass Defect fan. Like Bioware did a, a good job with uh, Kotor. Yeah, 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 no, it's I mean, definitely Kotor a thing I can to go back to. Put Bioware on the map, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Kotor and uh, Jade Empire together were both fantastic. Because like they had like Baldur's Gate and shit before that, but when they made Kotor, that's really where they uh, started getting super, super popular. Why do I have dick hoops on my pants? <laughs> what? All right, what? Uh, Rin, well, let's uh, get to the next game. Uh, you mentioned earlier uh, something about a game based on a movie. Or... Yeah, my brain's just uh, going now, trying to think of like other examples too. Um, there was a really good Lord of the Rings game, uh, The Two Towers. Oh, yeah. Oh, Return Edward. of the King was better. Okay. Return of the oh, King was better. It's time <laughs> for a fight. No, no fight. <laughs> no, it's time to fight. Return of the King was better. He <laughs> shit. Wow. It was good. Anyway, Two Towers. <laughs> two Towers. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, it's been a hot minute and then some since I played it, so I don't... That's the thing with a lot of these movie games is that, like, even when they're, like, really great, there's very few, ex like, examples where I'm like, oh, yeah, I vividly remember playing this. Um, and the good one, like, the just good ones kind of just... I remember playing it, but I don't remember, like, why it sticks out in my head when I talk about it. Like, I don't have a cool Lord of the Rings video game story or anything. Yeah. I don't know, it just popped in my head. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember that one was pretty good. Have anyone here sunk in any amount of time into Shadow of Mordor or Shadow of War? Yeah, I Shadow of Mordor. I a lot of time into Mordor. I've played the first game for a decent amount of time. Man, I, I love that right. game. Yeah? Yeah, it, it, they took, like, elements of something like Assassin's Creed and the Batman Arkham games and just made this really, really cool mashup. What I appreciated about the game was they brought in a lot of uh, lore that was trapped inside the the Silmarillion and put it into the, the forefront of the uh, Middle Earth mythos for the average consumer. Yeah. Uh, when I played it, I found as soon as I got the domination ability and I dominated every single commander enemy orc, so I had no enemies anymore, the game was quite boring. And that, that was the point of the game, though. To become really boring? Well, no, to, to <laughs> dominate the commanders. So, yeah, I know, but like, I got every single one. They were all yeah. under my command. It was really boring at that point. I do think that uh, that Nemesis system, though, that's something that we really need to see in more games. Because that was, that's, that's innovation. Yeah, it was a really cool concept. Yeah. And I did enjoy it until the point in which I had no Nemesis anymore. Yeah, that's fair. Because I effectively turned off the system at the point. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel as if we are remiss if we do not bring up a game that is technically not based off of a movie, but uh, fuck it, coincided with the movie. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Very d near and dear to everyone uh, in this yeah, call's heart. Yeah, it was um, awesome game. Yeah. What a fucking game. Uh... I was never. 2011 I, it came out? I don't know. I never give a fuck about beat em ups as a kid. 
Uh, and then this fucking game came out with so much style in all of its sprites. So, like... Oh, fuck. It is... I, like, I, it took so much inspiration. Not just inspiration, but, like... It felt at points like you were, like, playing through this fucking graphic novel. Like, it was so fucking true to its source material. And it was so fucking cool. And, oh, th there's so much shit I can get into. Uh, the leveling system was fun. It, it was kind of just fun to grind out in that game. Uh, multiplayer was awful because your fr fucking friends could hit you. Uh, but, you know, fuck it. Why not? Uh, the music. The fucking music. Getting an outside band, Anime Anaguchi, this fucking chiptune ba uh, rock band. Uh, the first level, the like the opening fucking minutes of the first level are like burned into my mind, like like fucking City Escape. Like it, it is so fucking vivid to me. Uh, how this game introduces uh, you to its world in its starting minutes. It just does such a great fucking job at, uh, I mean, not like dropping any story, like, shit onto you, but like, just getting you into the fucking game. Uh, and it, it really, really, really is a fucking shame that you cannot buy that game anymore. You might be able yeah. to, though. No, it's uh, currently lost because it was pulled from all online stores. Um, it was a digital only title, and it's currently it's long like unless you have an Xbox 360 or PS3 with it installed, it is lost media. It might potentially be coming back though. Yeah, if it gets a re release eventually, but we're basically at the mercy of the developers and copyright holders if that game ever comes back out. What I'll say to that is that back in May. Uh, the Academy, they held an online, um, like, stream for, uh, the Scott Pilgrim movie. And while that movie was playing, uh, Brian Lee O'Malley, who created Scott Pilgrim, actually tweeted, bring back the Scott Pilgrim game, and Ubisoft responded to it with the thinking emoji as if they were actually already considering it. Kind of like teasing it. So we'll see. Hmm. Yeah. That was only two months ago, and I kind of hope it does come back. It would be nice. Uh, like, it would be absolutely nice. It really sucks when a game is just lost because uh, copyright, like, uh, just like a uh, copyright runs up or something, and then all of a sudden, hey, now you can't play this game anymore. Yeah. yeah. I think I still have it. I think I still have it downloaded onto my PS3. Yeah. I don't have the DLC for it, but I believe I have the original version uh, still on my PS3. I haven't checked. Cause I haven't bothered to plug that thing in in fucking forever, but still. God. I'm honestly just thinking of like some of the sprite work for some of those boss animations. Um, it, yeah, I forget the fucking vegan dude, but like if I remember correctly, like there's like this fucking like Akira moment where his fucking arm comes out, and it's like just this amalgamation of fucking like vegetables and like. Just, just vegan shit, and like takes up like it like goes across the screen. It's so fucking cool. Uh, just how much work was like put into all these different sprites. Oh, what a great fucking game! Uh, I would not have given a shit to watch this movie uh, or consume any of the other Scott Pilgrim media if this game did not come out. Uh, Jesus Christ, it was so good. Period. Yeah, it's not much more you can really add to that. I mean. Anyway, yeah. that's why I love Bad Boys Miami Takedown. Let's get on to the next game. Ooh, guys, have you ever played this really good game? I, I don't know if you've ever heard about it, but it's it's called Street Fighter, the movie, the game. Oh my god! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. And it it's Street Fighter. Okay. But it's based on that movie. Holy shit. But it's also a game. Bro. Like, who, who would have thought, like, that you you could play Street Fighter as Raul Julia? In a game. Yes. In a game. In a, in a, in a, in a, <laughs> no, like, the uh, the 3D animations were, were done really well. Uh, from what I recall, they were 
actually FMV'd in, into the game. So the game all... itself, to my understanding, is total trash. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. It's it's uh, Saturn and PS1 exclusive, and who owns a Saturn? And <laughs> I think that was the better version. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You're kind of fucking reminding me of this one fucking piece of shit game. Like, I watched the movie, and I thought it was pretty sick, and then I, like, played the game, and yeah, yeah, a little fucking indie hit, like Super Mario Brothers. It's a fucking garbage game. The movie was pretty cool with like the fucking Koopa King or whatever and the dinosaurs and shit. And uh. The fat bald man who played the main character. Yeah. That was a. That was. That was that's like a. That's like a really shitty movie game though. Like, su like Super Mario Bros. Uh, unplayable. What even are those graphics? Jesus Christ. And the jumping? It's so fucking floaty. You can barely change directions in air. What the fuck is going on? Like, who actually made this garbage? I'm, I'm curious. I'm... Wait, what is anyone gonna take responsibility? Will anyone take respons- Citizen Kane? Citizen Kane? Will you take responsibility? Scorsese? David Fincher? No? No one will stand up and take responsibility for Super Mario Brothers, the game. Blue Albano. Garbage. <laughs> Lou Fresno. <laughs> Lou. Ouija. Ouija. Uh, okay, let's get to the next one. <laughs> uh, does anyone have anything else to say about movie games? Oh, yeah. No, I have one. Okay, I have one. I have one. It's, I have one it's only partially based off of movie, and it actually came out like. A week before the movie, okay. that was direct to like DVD anyway, or direct to video. It might have been at that time. Uh, it's the Bionicle game for uh, Holy GameCube. Shit. Oh shit! I remember that. I never played yeah. it, but I remember it. That game is not very good. There's only like eight levels. Some of them are like on rails, uh, weird minecart level. I think is one of them. It is not a very good game. Um. I still loved it as a kid, because I think Bionicles are super cool, but that game I, is not very good. Correct. They are fucking super cool. Absolutely. Yeah. The right uh, opinion. And it, it does not follow the story of the movie at all, which I guess is fine. It skips over, like, most of the plot of Bionicles entirely. Yeah, I do remember uh, that movie being dog shit as a kid, though. Yeah, the movie was dog shit, but I also loved it. Yeah. Um, I mainly I remember, all the times. Times. I remember all the commercials for it. Oh man. I'm sure I still have it somewhere in my house. I don't know where it is, but I definitely owned that video, that movie. Oh uh, man, we're gonna have direct to video. Movie night. Well, movie night. <laughs> I have both of my uncle's movies. I have the first two. I think there was a third. Oh damn. Um, do any of them include Prabaka? I don't. I'm forgetting which one that is right now. They're, they're just the shitty. Evil Bionicles. They're oh no, those. I, now I know who you're talking about. Those are yeah. much past. The yeah, movies, I believe they were too cool. <laughs> Truly, they're shitty. Uh, spin although, in trying to remember this game, I looked it up on Wikipedia, and it is really funny because, in its details, it states the main villain's name, Makuta, Lord of Shadows, and Lord and Shadows are both hyperlinks. To the Wikipedia pages for Lord and Lord Shadows. And, Shadows? Ah! <laughs> and I don't know why they bothered to do that. I'm curious. <laughs> the thing I'm curious of is it is it a, a North American exclusive game? Oh. Did did we miss it on our list? I doubt we missed it on the list. I it was also wouldn't... released in Europe. Yes. Okay. I, right, I right. didn't fuck up. Yeah. My arbitrary list of random examples of North yeah. American only games that you can watch if you click the uh, thingy up in the top right corner. And everyone, tune in next time for uh, Superfoods Cooker Be Cooked. Food Network's Cooker Be Cooked. What the fuck? What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> uh, the Food Network's uh, Cooker Be Cook Off Cooker Be Cooked. Kindly go fuck yourself. Week. That isn't a real game. <laughs> <laughs> it is! Alright.
uh, unnamed, un, un, uninvited, uh, uncircumcised guest, uh, do you have any other things to say about us? Uh, about you? Uh, yeah. I have plenty to say about you guys, uh, but nothing to do with movie games. Oh, okay. What would you like to say about us? Um, you're all the worst. You're terrible at podcasting. I don't know why we do this. Sweet. Uh, we try. Oh, that's great. Alright, um, does anyone else, uh, wanna, wanna say anything about movies? And games? And movie games? Well, there, there is one that I haven't brought up yet. Okay. For, for the Sega Genesis. Alright, So, guys, go. name your favorite Disney movie time no, game for. No. No, for Genesis. No. No. Movie tie-in no, for Genesis? No. Movie tie-in what? for Genesis. Is this the Lion King uh, or something? I didn't have a Genesis. No. Is that your thing? No. It's I also did not King. have a Genesis. Aladdin? Nope, not Aladdin. Okay, just say it. It's my favorite in Disney movie tie-in game from, from that era. And it's, then say it. <laughs> it's, it's Pocahontas for, for Sega Genesis. Oh, All I right. thought you were going to say the Lion King. I was kind of getting nervous. Yeah, no, it's, it's, you it's, said no to that. It's Pocahontas for Sega Genesis. You had a character swap ability where you would switch between Pocahontas and the raccoon to puzzle solve your way throughout the game. And then you would steal the soul of 15 different animals to get animal abilities. It's kind of sweet. That, no, like you would actually steal the fucking soul of a dying animal. Dude, that's still fucking metal. Come on. Yeah. yeah. No, it was it was dope. Like you had deer that's, abilities, that's Majora's Mask abilities. You, that's Majora's Mask times fifteen. You're stealing soul and you're using it for your own for, for level progression. That yeah. is literally Majora's Mask, my guy. No, but like Pocahontas was was a really dope game. Like I don't know why people don't talk about it more. It's probably because review. uh in the Genesis era there were a lot of really good Disney related games that came out. Yeah. So it was Aladdin, which is one that I've completely forgotten about until now, but it is a really good game. Yeah, uh, there's the one that I don't want to talk about. Uh, there were some Mickey Mouse games even that were really good. Yep. So I think it's just because there's that much good already in that era, and Pocahontas isn't really like the first thing people think about when they think of Disney for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, yeah. It probably just gets put to the wayside, whether or not that's fair or not. Do we have any other games to bring up? Uh, the Lion King for Sega Genesis! Fuck off! I'll flip off. <laughs> um, have you guys ever played the Chronicles of Riddick games? No, uh, oh, I have heard those are really good. good. Dude, they're so fucking good. Like, in terms of first-person stealth games, those both of those games are one of like the best, and you can actually get them in a package of both games uh, if you buy the second one. It comes with the first one. Like you can like shoot out lights to make everything dark, and then when it's dark, the enemies can't see you, and you can like fucking stealth around and like kill them from behind and shit. It's just so fucking fun. And it's got Vin Diesel, and he actually does a really good job voicing his character. It's fantastic. Yeah, it is uh, so fucking weird to me that I know more about the Chronicles of Riddick games than the actual movies. I have not seen any of them. Uh, regarding the movies, Pitch Black is fantastic. You should watch it. Chronicles of Riddick is okay. And then Riddick is okay. There's an animated one. You don't have to watch that shit. The games are fantastic, though. If you haven't played them, uh, you can probably get them super, super cheap. Hmm. Oh yeah, because they're probably PS3 and 360, right? I've had to guess. Yeah, they did have them on PC, uh, and the second one had like DirectX 10. I know it had some weird like DRM that like fucked with people's computers. It's called Tages or some shit like that. I don't know if they fixed that with an update. But yeah, they're really, really great games. If you like stealth, you should play those. True. Interesting. You. I'm gonna assume that is well. That's question: um, Since since uh, the Disney was brought up, can I bring up Kingdom Hearts and how good it is? No, is that, fuck off! It's really not, good. That's not a movie game. Fuck off! But, but it's definitely based on various classic Disney movies. It's not the same. 
Fuck. Forever reminding me Stop giving our uninvited guest PTSD. Yeah. It doesn't matter which version of Atlantica it is. You hate those fucking music session sections so much that uh, when I came over to your house to play it, uh, you muted the TV, uh, and I, I think wrestled r- wrestled the uh, the TV controller or my actual controller out of the scenes so that you did not have to either skip the scene or you had to or you you either skipped the scene or you muted the TV, and I was very pissed. I really wanted you to hear "Let It Go" for the sixty thousandth time. Ugh. Yeah, but you did that specifically to piss me off, so you can't fucking complain. <laughs> I can't every... <laughs> No, you can't. You can't so... complain that I tried hey, you know to what? Like, you know what? I am, I guess maybe I wanted to hear uh, uh, some singing, okay? Well, you can do that on your own fucking time. Maybe, maybe I was just in a musical mu- 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 mood. Musical mood, and you fucked it up, fucked me over. You would not let my fucking house. (laughs) You wanted to do it. It's done it somewhere else. Fuck you. I, I, maybe I, I really just wanted to like come out. uh, uh, Period. (laughs) What? Uh, All right. Let's 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 get to the next thing. Uh, I'm not sure there is one. Yeah, I think I don't have the next thing. There has to be. This can't be the end. Well, how long have you guys been going? An hour and eight you. minutes. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Okay, that's not terrible. This can't be the end. Alright, Kaz. Game. What's another good game, then? Um... Oh, fuck. You know, you know something? There's actually also this other piece of shit fucking movie game. Uh, I fucking watched it and then I like played the game. Yeah, it's called Sonic the Hedgehog. L- little piece of shit by a dumb indie dev. Okay. What the fuck? I fucking played this game based off the movie. Yeah, okay. This is a second what track. the fuck are these sprites, dude? This is twenty fucking nineteen, and you're gonna put out a fucking game that looks like garbage. Looks like fucking I think it was Sonic Mania. Who gives a fuck, my guy? Dude, make a real three D Sonic game. I don't. Actually, just make a 3D game in general. Like, why do these sprites look like ass? Well, look like... If you make the joke one more time, it'll be real funny. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna. I was about to say this joke has definitely progressed. I don't uh, even know. I, I don't know how to shit on a good game. I'm sorry. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, <leave. laughs> Let's just go. I'm out. Fuck this. Uh. Okay. So, I guess we're left to end it. Um, oh, wow, he great. actually left. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's no, back. He's no, he's back. back. Was fu- and the music was fucking terrible, too, my guy. Uh, congrats. Anyway, uh, congrats. close up the fucking podcast. As always, it's been a loads of fun. If you like this adventure through talking about some movie-based games, you can give us a like, subscribe. Uh, consider checking out some of their stuff. Consider following us on Twitter. The link will be in the description. As always, uh, this has been Rin, as well as... Pork Chopper. Guess our... <laughs> the unnamed <laughs> guest. I was scared. Why don't you say unnamed guest? Say <laughs> unnamed, you fucking idiot. <laughs> what the fuck? I say your name! Say your name! Say your name! Say it. Just fucking say it. what? Your name. You? name. Also, that was oh, a shit that. movie. <laughs> oh, you told me it was good. It was really. <laughs> that was garbage. <laughs> Fuck that animated shit. Next time on Thunderstorm, really shitty. You animated. still didn't say your <laughs> name. <laughs> and you're also <laughs> <too> <laughs> even get up. No one's decided on. <laughs> and slip. So... <laughs> okay, and, and I don't really have a name, so fuck off. And we are out of here. Harry Bye. Potter on PS One.